Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to three of the virtual contest, or for me, virtual contest, weekly contest 345, maximum number of moves in a grid. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, this one, I'm going to be a little bit lazy, to be frank, um, in the sense that this is a dynamic programming solution, and this is a very, um, very straightforward application of it. I'm actually surprised this is a Q3. Um, but yeah, and it just uses columns instead of rows, so maybe in that way it challenges you to kind of, you know, uh, maybe try something a little, or like make sure that you have an understanding of sort about this problem. But the core part about this problem is just that, it's a dynamic programming thing, um, and as part of this, uh, the way to figure it out is that this entire graph, implicit or explicit, depending on how you want to think about it, is is a dag right you can only move in one direction there are no cycles and in that it becomes the longest path in a dag which you can do with dynamic programming in general and in this case um but yeah but overall this is my code i did it with bottoms up uh uh i basically saying okay if there's a path uh and it's not the last column then we just try to see you know we try to go up we try to go to the right and then we try to go down also to the diagonal up, diagonal down, and just to the right and see if we can improve on the maximum move. And that's pretty much it. Uh, if, if we do all these checks and everything's correct, then we just added plus one. At the way when we choose the biggest path that we can find, I kind of was a little bit lazy and just kind of looked at the entire grid, but it's going to be on the, on the last column that you're able to see. Um, and it, and the last column that you're able to, to reach is going to be the length, right? Because it's just going from left to right. But, and you can write that in different ways if you like, but yeah. Uh, the way that I did it is going to be linear time, linear space, keeping in mind that linear in this case is R times C, because that's the size of the input. So yeah, linear time, linear space, and that's what I have with this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I need to explain anything or if you have questions, because this one I feel like, it's pretty standard to be frank. Um, and if you struggle with it, that's fine. I would love to explain it a little bit more, but I just don't know what the, what the problems may be. Um, Cause there are a lot of decode problems with the same idea. So yeah, um, that's all I have with this one. Let me know what you think. And you could watch me solve it live during the virtual contest next. All right, good. Maximum number of moves in a grid. Start any cell in the first column, and then from each row, you can move to the next column, but well, up or down. This seems like straight for a DP. I don't know why I use row instead of column, but I guess that's fine. We could go the other way, actually.
yes, but also that that's not what I care about. Strictly greater or strictly greater than I don't have any typos that should be okay and that's good all right thanks for watching hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think about this virtual contest this problem and explanation and everything and how did you do let me know uh yeah stay good stay healthy to good mental health i'll see y'all later take care bye bye